do want to learn how to use the IPFS network and upload files with the IPFS desktop application and JavaScript to the decentralized filing system of the web. If you want to learn that, stay tuned and watch this video to the end to learn how to do it. If you're new to this channel but you want to learn the dark arts of programming, subscribe and click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. So now let's take a look what the IPFS is. This is the IPFS website. It's on ipfs.io and now I would want to download the desktop version. So let's go to the docs section here and scroll down to the application section. Click on IPFS desktop and you're going to go to the GitHub repository and you would want to scroll down and download the latest release according to your operating system. I'm using Windows so I'm going to click on this one. And after the download is complete you would need to install it. Now click on the setup here and it should be should start to install. Now that we have installed the IPFS desktop application, it should sit in your taskbar and should look like this. Now let's test it out by uploading some pictures on the IPFS network. Just right click on the icon here and click on files. After that, click on the add button over here and select the file. Let's go and select some pictures that we have here. Uh, let's select this picture and click on upload and it's already uploaded. So now let's have a look at it by copying the share link over here. It's basically the ipfs.io forward slash ipfs and then a big hash over here. Each file that is uploaded to the ipfs network basically gets some kind of hash which is unique to that file. The great thing about that is if someone else tries to upload the same file, it basically is going to reference it to the same hash. So in the IPFS network, we have no duplicates of files, which is great. We don't clutter the network with unnecessary documents and files. So let's copy this and head over to the browser and see what we have. We're going to paste it. And there you have it. This is our picture that we have uploaded to the IPFS network. Now I'm going to show you how with JavaScript we can upload information to the IPFS network and distribute it. So basically we would want to type in Google run kit Playground. Now go ahead and click on the first result and this is basically an online application that runs a full Node.js environment so we can request packages and stuff like that. So now we would want to request the IPFS package with the require function and calling it ipfs.mini. This is basically a mini package for the IPFS API. So now let's configure this to use the public Infura IPFS gateway. So type const IPFS with small letters to be equal to IPFS and inside of the brackets let's type host to be IPFS.infura.infura dot io with the port of 5001 and the protocol of HTTPS. So we can use that to host files but remember when we try to host files on the public IPFS server this does not mean that it will be saved there forever. They will be cached and after that, after some time, 
perhaps a day or two weeks, they will delete them. So the best way to host files is to use your own server. So now we would want to save data on the IPFS network. So let's create a const of data to be some string that we want to save to the Infura IPFS. So now we're ready to send the data. So let's type ipfs.add and send the data. And after we send it, we either get an error or we get the unique hash that shows the destination of the file to the nearest computer. So now we would want to do some stuff with those two variables that we receive. So if we have an error, we would want to return and console walk the error. If not, we would want to console walk the link to the destination of the data. So let's console.log https forward slash forward slash ipfs.infura.io forward slash ipfs forward slash plus the hash that we received. So now we're ready to test this out. Let's click on run and see what happens. Here we have the link to the data that we saved to the Infura gateway. So now copy this and paste it in a new tab. This might take a while, so be patient. And here we have it. We have saved some text to the Infura gateway. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future. If you want to learn more, click on the link below where you are going to go to my full course for blockchain development with Solidity. There I am going to show you how you can use the IPFS filing system to build a decentralized application. So see you next time.